name is Indy and today I am here with another YA Chronicles unboxing. This is the April box. Journal Junkies was the theme. I am still enjoying these boxes very much. I have been feeling a little disappointed with the last two boxes so far and possibly this one but you know I'm still happy to get them. They're still great amazing boxes and I will link the website down below for you if you so you can go check them out and get one but they are still great boxes and they are still supporting an amazing group of ladies so I will be continuing to get these for just a bit longer. Anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. So today, I've got some a black paper, oh yes. Now today I didn't get a little card saying what I got, but I got my Volume H Journal Junkies bookmark, but I just didn't get a little card telling me what I got in my box, so I just kind of had to, you know, look at it and figure it out. The first thing I got are some stickers from the Sticker Alley made in Adelaide, South Australia, and they're just little stickers saying currently reading, so I'm not really sure what to stick on these, honestly, because I don't want to stick them on the actual book, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be using these for, but that's alright, I'll find some use for them, I'm sure. The next thing I got was some little book masking tape, so let's just open it up. So it's got little pictures of books on it, so it's pretty cute. I guess maybe it needs some sticky tape, I will hit this up, but it's very cute. Just some little books on a bookshelf, so that's pretty cute. And if I did write journals, that would be very handy, I think. I used to write, like, sort of journals when I was younger. I used to write things in books, like stupid little stories and things. They had one of those password journals. I'll put a picture here if you know what I mean. You had to, like, set a password and, like, speak into it and get the password and crack it open. I still have it somewhere. It has pictures from, like, magazines and things. It has a picture of Ron Weasley and Have You Seen This Wizard? Serious Black Picture. I also had all sorts of notes and stuff in there. It was the bomb. The next thing I got was a Get Shit Done little booklet. So I've left this to my mother because it's generally just some paper, the subject and date, and you tick off the things. And my mom likes to write shopping lists all the time and write notes and things, so I've gifted it to her to use. And the last item I have here is the book for this month, and it is This Is Where The World Ends by Amy Zhang. And she is the author of Falling Into Place. And this book is basically a story of a boy and girl. They've been friends since they lived next door to each other for years and years and years and they're always sort of paired off together because that's just how it is. They're very different in their traits. Micah, the male character, is very shy, whereas Janie, the female character, is very outgoing. But there is one big hitch in their friendship. No one is allowed to know about it. So I'm not sure why there's a big secret around it because maybe their social groups at school don't match or they're embarrassed to be seen together. I, I don't know. I'm seeing the word liar on here a lot, so I don't know what's going on. It sounds mysterious. It sounds interesting and I hope it's a really good plot for why they can't be friends and I think it will be so I definitely will think about reading this it sounds sort of very contemporary like I will definitely try and hit this up at some point in time and I'm very much liking the coloration of this this is very cute and the nice orange spine it's about 300 pages so a very decent size so I would definitely be picking this one up at some point so that's it for the goodies today from the YA Chronicles box as I said I will link it down below if you want to go and get one as usual this is not sponsored by YA Chronicles I buy them myself every month and they're a great little thing, a great little thing I look forward to every month, a little sort of package of bookish things and you should definitely get your hands on one if you can. That's it for today's video and I will see you in my next. Bye! Unboxing! Unboxing! Unboxing!